Hi and welcome. We're really excited that you're taking this time to learn a little bit more about your kit. Uh, my name is Shaukia Remark and I'm Petya and we're here today to help you unpack this kit that you just received and you're super excited about. Yay! Uh, so you'll notice that in your bag the kit comes with the box which contains all the oils and a few other goodies, uh, the diffuser, the dewdrop diffuser, and a catalog. So we're going to spend a little bit of time on each one to get you familiar with what's what they're all about, how to use them, and just give you the confidence to be able to start uh, using your oils right away. Like now. So if you haven't already, we highly recommend um, taking a moment and downloading an app for your phone. Um, the ones that we recommend are the Reference Guide for Essential Oils, as well as uh, looks like that there. It goes through all the singles, all the blends, um, and a guide basically on, you can look up anything that you need um, assistance with, for example, sleep or stress and tension. Um, so the possibilities are endless and this will give you a really good resource on um, how to get started with your oils. So there's that one and the other one I recommend is called the EO Bar. Um, which also talks a lot a bit about the singles, the blends, and how to use them. But this one dives a little bit more into recipes, uh, topical application, diffusing, uh, if you have questions about oils and pregnancy, um, oils and um, allergies, um, different stuff like that. It kind of dives a little bit deeper. Um, so the, those are the two apps that we recommend. Um, and they're a great go-to anytime you literally have a question, there is an answer in there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so definitely worthwhile looking into. Yeah. Um, and also we encourage you guys to plug in to a Facebook group community. Uh, we have one, but we can also recommend uh, one to you as well. Like if you want to be part of one, like more globally through the States and through Canada or one that's just in the States or just in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a great way for you to see how other people are using their oils. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you a lot of insight into um, what people will use for different things and also just great testimonies so you know like, hey, these actually work um, and Absolutely. you can see them changing people's lives and you know, it'll change your life too. Our goal is to keep this simple and to help you just dive in in a, in a beautiful, simple way. So Facebook can be way overwhelming. So a good way to start and then build from there is join our group because we know you, you know us, and we can communicate and you can see what, what, what is there. And if you're more interested in the social media part of following you know, the essential oils and what other people in other countries are doing, then building from there yeah. is always a good deal. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, yeah, so kit. let's get started with the kit. It's like Christmas morning. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, Petya will slide off the cover. And That's underneath... A beautiful little picture. Beautiful. And inside is your box, and it just flips up. The top flips up really easily. You have a lot of information inside this uh, envelope, uh, which is on kind of the lid of the box. And then you basically have a couple layers going on here. So it's like a box of chocolates. Mm, First chocolate. layer is you have your 10 oils, uh, blends and singles. And Petya will demonstrate how on the back of this, there's a stand. So the benefit of this stand is to keep the oils upright. So of course, when you get your oils, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is twist the caps and open them, smell them. Um, we definitely encourage you to do that, but once those, once the seal is broken, if they lie flat down, there is a small chance that it could start to leak out. So we definitely encourage either keeping your oils upright like this, or even uh, taking them out and placing them on your counter or somewhere where you're going to see them so you know to use them. You'll definitely notice that certain oils will gravitate to different parts of your house. So for example, the peppermint is always in my smoothie cupboard. <laughs> you can find peppermint there. Peppermint is in a few different places in my house. But. <laughs> uh, lavender will probably end up in your bedroom. Frankincense in uh, your bathroom because it's great for the skin. So you'll notice that it'll gravitate around. But definitely keep them upright. Um, keep them away from like direct sunlight and heat. Uh, but other than that, just 
you know, the the bottles are tinted dark, so just in a regular room like this, they'll be they'll, they'll be, be fine. fine. Yeah. My favorite thing when I first started with my kit was I designated a little cupboard in my house, and all my, my oils were there, so I could go and reach for whatever I needed, um, and you'll know what you need because we'll go over how to find out what you need. <laughs> Um, and then the second layer, so you just lift the kind of a cardboard top off, and underneath you have all your goodies, including that 11th oil. Ooh, so your really Northern exciting. Lights Black Spruce is going to be in that lower level, uh, as well as your Ningxia Red um, oil infused, amazing full body support antioxidant drink. Uh, this stuff is is so incredible. Fun. It's really great. Next to the oils, this is probably one of my favorite non-oil Young Living product. Um, so put these in the fridge because it definitely tastes better chilled. Um, two ounces comes in each package. You can use one ounce at a time or you can do the full two ounces. Uh, for kids, you can cut the top off. You can put a straw in it. Great replacement for a juice box. Um, I know for myself, uh, gives me such a good boost of energy. I'm not a coffee drinker, so this is a great way for me to kind of get that uh, mental, emotional, physical boost. Um, so I have mine in the morning. Uh, also amazing for me for helping with sugar cravings. Mm -hmm. So I'll do like, I'll take one maybe in the afternoon to kind of give me another boost, but also just to prevent me from eating Stuff that I probably shouldn't be doing. <laughs> and I'm a coffee drinker, so haven't quite replaced coffee yet. <laughs> um, well, moving towards that, but I find that this is a great part of my ritual, and a little shot in the morning goes great with my vitamins or whatever it is that I do in the morning, and so a little tiny bit of that. I also like mixing it with juice sometimes, like in your, let's say, breakfast, um, just a little bit of orange juice or mango juice, it's uh, it's a really good combination. So yeah, mm -hmm. over ice is great. Popsicles, uh, did yeah, we make that too. I've done <laughs> in the uh, yeah, mango ningxia popsicles for the kids, which is really nice. We can do ice cubes with them to Absolutely. put it in your drink. Google ningxia recipes. There's there's tons of options out there. Um, so yeah, in the fridge, uh, chill these down. What else do we have in there? We have a 10 little travel bottles um, that come inside the kit that are amazing for sharing your oils um, with someone who may not have any oils and you just want to really share uh, an oil that you love, whether it's you know frankincense for their face or peppermint for a headache um, or you know diegize if they're having some digestive issues and but the other way that they're amazing, th this is also amazing for traveling. If you're going anywhere and you don't want to take the full bottles, um, putting them in there to take with you is amazing. Mm -hmm. And there's these little info cards that come as well, and you'll notice there's a hole in them. Um, so if you are giving it out to someone, um, the bottle just kind of fits in the hole. It talks a little bit about the oils. Um, it's a great, great reference card, great info card. Um, so we really like those those travel subs. And speaking of traveling, this is a hand sanitizer travel box or a bottle. And I mean, I have one of these in my purse. I have one at work. I have one at my desk. Um, anywhere you need to, you know, you'll be around people. And especially in the months where some of these, you know, bugs are going around. I mean, it's amazing for kids too because it doesn't taste like chemicals and alcohol and doesn't smell like it it's well it's all natural so you can feel confident knowing that if your kids put some on their hands and their hands go in their mouth they're not ingesting chemicals Absolutely. as well as for yourself you know you're not absorbing it um, so it's a great alternative to to Purell Absolutely. and it smells amazing it's thieves so it's cinnamon it's peppermint thieves, it's, it's great the bomb yeah and it's not drying very gentle on the hands and here we go with the interesting thing that comes in the box that's like what even is this well we'll go over it so you know it's this little roller ball that comes right on its own and i'll let shokia show yeah. how to use that on a bottle um so these are designed to go on an oil that you find you apply topically to yourself so people usually choose an oil that they find they apply on their skin often Generally, we recommend uh, putting it on the Panaway oil, primarily because this one is specifically designed and blend, blended to be applied topically. 
Um, so you can diffuse it. It does smell lovely, but it's not designed um, in terms of uh, an in inhalation blend, but a topical one. Uh, so this one has got uh, peppermint, clove, uh, wintergreen, helichrysum. It's just a fantastic synergistic blend for joints, muscles, um, great for uh, arthritis, pain, um, great to massage with. Um, really great for muscle tension, bruising, yeah, post exercise. Yeah, uh, that that soreness that comes so good, feels so good, so bad. Hurts after. So, good. <laughs> <laughs> hurts so good after exercise. Yeah, so it's really easy to put on, but it's worth going over because we often get questions about this. So you want to take this plastic orifice off the top of the bottle. You can use your fingers for that, or you can use the lid to sort of uh, pull it off. So now. It's off, the orifice is inside the cap here. Um, and then you take the filament and you pop it right on. Now I often get comments saying, okay, the bottle's too big, the filament's too small, it's not fitting, no matter how hard I press. Ta -da! So the cap that comes with it, this is, this is a must. So you just put it on, screw it on until you hear a little, I don't know if you heard of it, it kind of clicks, you'll feel it go snugly in. Snugly? It's not a word. Anyway, then you take the cap off and you'll see that the um, filament is now secure in place. And to get it off, you can just use your fingers or again the cap to pop it off. Um, and now it's ready, ready to roll. So you just mm. apply it to that joint, to that muscle, back of the head. Um, and for the women out there, one of my absolute favorite uses of Panaway is for um, uterine cramping during the time of the month. It helps so much with calming the tension through the low back, um, through the abdomen. Uh, the helichrysum is known to help with um, slowing down bleeding. Um, so it's a, an amazing oil. Incredible. Uh, yeah, it's one use. of my very favorite oils yeah. in the world. Um, perhaps a little mention here would be worth um, how do we dispense most of the oils if they don't have a roller ball um, mm -hmm. on them? And all of the bottles, as you open them, on this white little piece, and I'm not sure if you can see um, exactly where it is, but it's going to be on the very bottom here. There's a tiny little hole, okay? It's hard to see right now, but if you look closely inside there, you'll see... It's like a pinprick. A pinprick, it's really literally small. so small. And the idea for that is that that's where actually the oil comes out of. So you don't have to go completely um, vertical and flip the oil and try to um, get the, the drops out because you might get a lot of, the, of, the, of them out this way. So all you have to do is just place it horizontally and wait for the drop to accumulate and drop in your hand because a lot of times all you need is one drop. So this is a way to you know, save your oil and to use it wisely. Um, so again, it's just holding the oil in a sort of horizontal position, waiting for the drop to accumulate. So the pinprick would be at the six o'clock position there, and then it will accumulate. The peppermint is probably a little bit low in now, this bottle. Now, the, the peppermint <laughs> in this bottle is low and that's why it's taking a while, but when the bottle is full, uh, it comes out right away. All right, so that's something to remember. Um, so generally speaking, for the 5 ml bottles, you'll get about anywhere between 70 to 90 drops of oil per bottle, and that will depend on the viscosity of the oil. You'll notice that some oils are very viscous and some are a little bit thicker, depending on um, the type of oil they are and uh, how they've been distilled. So you'll notice that as well. Yeah. So some go faster than others, and that's the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so maybe... Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Shall we talk? We could touch on each oil yeah. for a few minutes. Yeah. Sure. Why don't we give you? We'll go through each of the oils in the kit uh, really briefly, and we'll just talk about our favorite ways to use each of them. Mm -hmm. um, but just to kind of maybe give a quick overview in terms of using oils, um, we'll talk about the diffuser soon. But inhalation or diffusing is one way to use them. Um, and then the other way to use them is to apply them topically uh, to the skin. And then there's also a lot of real practical uses for the oils that you may have never thought of. 
Um, but the great thing about essential oils is that no matter how you use them, you're benefiting your body. Whether you're cleaning with them, whether you know they're just being used as a nice smell to freshen up your house, um, however they are around you, they're going in your system and you're going to notice improvements in your mood, uh, your digestion, um, how you sleep, how you feel. It's incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. So don't, yeah, so don't think uh, that you're wasting your oils cleaning with them because they're benefiting your health. Absolutely. Incredibly. Even in your laundry. I've been putting yes. oils inside the laundry machine, just right drops in there and... I know that when I put my clothes on, I can sense it, and that's a form of inhalation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so let's start with um, lavender, maybe. Sure. So lavender is considered the Swiss army knife of oils. When in doubt, if you're not sure what to use, use lavender. It's good for the skin, so like your first aid oil for burns, cuts, scrapes, bruises, uh, muscle tension. It's incredible for helping to uh, calm the body. So when you're thinking of, you know, more restful sleep, uh, stressful situation, uh, anything along those lines, lavender is great. Um, I think one of our favorite uses for lavender comes in the form of putting it in the diffuser. Um, but I've also had instances, especially with my kids, that, you know, instead of using polysporin or rubbing alcohol or something like that, a little bit of lavender. And yeah, you have a great after sun yes. story. <laughs> um, of course, the first time the sun came out, I was out there. <laughs> and um, we we took a nice long walk and sat with, you know, out in, in nature for a few hours. And uh, I didn't apply sunscreen that day. And so when I came home, my face and nose, of course, were kissed, to say the least. Mm -hmm. And um, so I knew that lavender is great um, to calm the skin and to calm the redness and to do that so I mixed it actually with peppermint which is very cooling um, and I made a little spray bottle so spritzing just water on my face um, a few times after that sun exposure literally didn't let me go on with weeks of burn it was maybe over a couple days I mean there was a little bit of skin that came off but um, it didn't hurt it wasn't uncomfortable and I just I'll just say it was lavender's fault <laughs> for that. So um, I've also seen great um, results applying lavender directly to a scrape, like a knee wound. <laughs> it was on a grown-up, not on a kid. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was a beautiful healing um, tool instead of applying a whole bunch of you know antibiotic kind of stuff to it which sometimes is necessary but if it doesn't have to be your body doesn't necessarily need that so lavender was a good mm -hmm. um, reach for yeah you can put it in a spray bottle with a bit of distilled water and you can make your own linen and uh, pillow and room spray with lavender so you can spritz your linens before bed mm -hmm. um, it smells really nice um, some people just love the smell so much they'll add it to kind of like a all-natural unscented lotion mm -hmm. so you can apply it to your body um, or even just wearing it as a bit of a fragrance on your wrist or on your neck if you're looking for that nice calming um, lavender yeah. smell. It's, it's nice before work or before you head into meeting people or being with people or you know anything that you have to sort of put on and show up. It's a good way to calm and, and ground and quiet the mind and do that peacefully. <laughs> And as a general recommendation, whenever you're putting essential oils on your skin for the first time, um, diluting it in a little bit of a carrier oil, like a cold pressed vegetable oil, like grapeseed oil, um, almond oil, jojoba oil, uh, coconut oil, um, just to see how your body responds to it. Um, I find in most of the oils I have no problem putting directly on my skin, um, but for those oils that are a little bit spicy in nature, like hot in nature, like cinnamon or oregano, you definitely want to dilute. So Thieves is one of those oils. Thieves is kit. one of those oils. We'll talk about that mm -hmm. uh, for sure. So just as a as a side note, if you're finding your first starting to use oils, diluting it a, a little bit is a great way um, to start um, introducing your body to the oils. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Next up is lemon. That's one of my favorite oils. Mm -hmm. I feel like, especially after you know spring summer after the cold winter months 
it was a beautiful boost for me um, in my mood and the immunity and just being able to add that little extra freshness um, to my life. So I've been using lemon in different ways, but um, literally you can apply it to anything. Now, the caution with lemon is not to directly apply it on your skin and have direct sunlight exposure to your skin right away. Um, some of the phyto um, oils can react with the sunlight. Um, so just as a caution, do not put lemon on your, on your face and go out and have a date with the sun. Not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, it'll make your skin photosensitive and you're more likely to burn. Um, so definitely a, a good thing to remember during the summer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as of as is all citrus oils, um, they're very uplifting. So if you want that happy feel, uh, lemon is your go-to oil. Mm. Um, it's great on its own uh, because it is like what Petty was saying. It's like that spring, that fresh smell. It smells so great. You know, adding it to your your cleaning solution if you're like a vinegar water type cleaning person um or uh, it's amazing for taking goo off things so if you take oh, a label yes. off a bottle and there's goo left over a couple drops of lemon a little bit of rubbing will help uh, degrease um, stuff like that so it's yeah. a great a great degreaser um also great for if you're making your own foaming hand soaps which mm. is really ridiculously easy but the smell of like a lemon foaming hand soap so good so nice yes. um, but yeah in the diffuser uh, smells really really nice I love diffusing um, lemon lavender and peppermint uh -huh. it's a very uplifting blend great for focus but also great for seasonal support so Absolutely. when there's pollen in the air um, and you're not breathing so well lemon lavender peppermint, peppermint. remember that trio yeah it's, it's the bomb yeah and as you're noticing I mean we're probably not gonna hit on any oil that has a negative effect on you, <laughs> but there are some oils that go together especially well. So lemon, lavender, um, we'll talk about peppermint again. Those are ones that go together really well in different combinations, especially diffusing them, as we'll mention on um, in a few moments about the diffuser. Yeah. So if you're looking to start off today with something like, what is it? go lemon lavender <laughs> you can't go wrong there mm -hmm. and it's also a very safe oil for pregnancy for kids so it's a great um, uplifting oil great for cough and colds for um, respiratory support so if you're unsure of what to do for your kids like Petch said lemon lavender amazing by the way <laughs> yeah all right so let's go well we'll just work through them in a row dye jays is known as the stinky oil, but it really works. <laughs> it's recommended to diffuse it. Personally, I, I can't I say I like it too. It's either. so stinky. <laughs> but there are some people who really like it. Absolutely. So Especially I don't want to discount it because yeah, some people love the smell of it. Um, but it's known to help with, it's, it's got all those really medicinal smelling oils, which means it's good for your body. Yes. <laughs> it's so good for um, supporting your digestive tract. So if you've had too much to eat, if you're feeling, if you're feeling, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I personally will rub it on my stomach um, and on the bottoms of my feet. Putting oils, especially ones that you don't like the smell of on your feet is amazing. Absolutely. Also great for the men in your life who may not be into oils so quickly when they're sleeping, you can sneak it on their bottom of their feet, gets absorbed into their Anything. system really quickly. <laughs> Um, and it's a very effective way to get oils into your body. Great for kids as well, because um, the feet aren't sent, like the skin isn't sensitive, mm -hmm. so it's a great way to introduce oils into the into the system. But yeah, digize. Um, if you want to help counteract the smell, if you're like me and you think it's stinky, peppermint is a great one. Lemon um, as well. Lemon is great for digestion too. We didn't mention that. Yes. Um, but yeah, applying that to your to your abdomen or the bottom of your feet. Or if you're brave, throw it in the diffuser. Throw it in the See diffuser. Where it goes. Well, if you like fennel, you would like the diffuser smell. Yeah, it's patchouli, fennel, juniper. It is full of good stuff. Full of good stuff. I think Shokia should try <laughs> diffusing a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe it'll grow it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, up next we have frankincense. I mean, the list on that one is super long. It is literally the holy oil. It is good for so many things. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I love 
doing uh, using frankincense on is my skin. I sometimes will actually apply it directly, but what we do recommend is that you dilute it or make a roller ball in one of your bottles that you received as well uh, with some carrier oil and apply it in this way. Um, it's great for any kind of um, you know lines and marks and and things like that on the skin it's amazing to as an uplifting oil for the spirit it's great for meditation if you're into that and getting more deeper into the self and the emotional aspect and it's also one of the more expensive oils in the kit um, and so I like to use it sparingly. It's wonderful to diffuse at nighttime. What are your favorite things to do with frankincense? Um, well, I started using frankincense um, post delivery with my third because um, I had had a C section. And so, from everything I read about frankincense, with it being really good for scar tissue, uh, for skin, for healing, as Petya touched on, just kind of that emotional component. Um, so, along with going in through surgery, like it does does a number physically on you but also mentally and emotionally so I used frankincense on my scar and it helped tremendously from um, helping with healing the integrity of the scar um, you know for me it helped with the sensation of the skin like the nerve kind of the nerve issue mm -hmm. um, so I I loved it for that but also for the skin like it goes on my face mm -hmm. almost every single mm -hmm. night that and Patchouli, which I know is in, in dye dyes. I don't like it in dye dyes, but I love it on my skin. So it's also one of my favorite skin oils. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Up next is peppermint. Peppermint is awesome. It's probably one of the most researched essential oils. If you're into research, uh, you can check out pubmed.com online. Um, mm -hmm. But definitely, I think peppermint was one of the first oils that I went through First, it's got a lot oh, yeah. of uses. <laughs> um, I think I mentioned before that you can find my peppermint oil in my smoothie cupboard. Um, I love the way it gives that minty taste to oh, things. So good. Uh, and there's so many uses for it. Um, I can't even begin, yeah. but like headaches, cooling. You can even use it as a mouthwash. Um, yeah, you can make a spray as a, a breath spray to freshen your mouth. Um, you can make a spray and spritz your body as like a portable air conditioner in the summertime or when you're traveling. Any kind of sunburns again, like it's very cooling on the body. So yeah, after exercise, um, it's a antispasmodic in nature, um, which means it's really great for muscle tension, both um, skeletal muscle, but also um, the digestive tract muscle. Um, so essential oils are much more powerful than herbs. Very. Uh, so one drop of essential oil is equivalent to 28 peppermint tea bags. Yeah. So you can imagine the effect that you're going to get it. from one drop of peppermint. Peppermint is one of the most popular oils in our massage pr massage practice mm. as well. Mm. People love peppermint on their back and shoulder muscles. It is cooling and you can feel the tingling right away. And yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean... Okay, check so, it out for yourself. Yeah. But <laughs> um, one drop in the hand, cup around the nose, deep breath in. One drop, rub on your abdomen. One drop, rub on your muscles. Uh, and then, obviously, amazing in the diffuser. In the diffuser. Um, so if you're looking for something for you know opening the airways, uh, focus, um, uplifting, energizing. Uh, Great, great, great to diffuse. And like we said, great to mix with lemon, lavender, incredible for that. All right, we'll move on to purification, which is another one of your oils in, in the kit. I am going to start off with saying I like to use purification in my laundry. <laughs> yeah. I, I drop a couple of drops inside the washing machine as I put my, my laundry in as well, and beautiful for that. Mm -hmm. I think probably the most common way to use pur purification is for odor control. So putting it in your laundry is one thing to help with that musty smell that sometimes a washing machine gets or from towels or a load that you left in for a little bit too long. Mm. Um, also really great in a spray to spray hockey equipment, shoes, uh, garbage cans, what? Oh, cat litter. My son's in the background. He loves essential oils. Yeah. <laughs> He'll come in and talk about one of his favorite ones in a second. Um, so another great use for purification um, coming into the summertime is for uh, itchy skin. So um, 
post bug bite or any kind of irritation or skin irritation, uh, putting purification on will help with that. Also, you can Google um, you know, bug repellent type sprays. It's got citronella and lemongrass and rosemary in it. Um, putting a drop to your feet daily will actually change the chemistry of your blood in a way that the mosquitoes won't just don't bite you. They just don't and yeah they don't want your blood because it's citronella and lemongrass. <laughs> um so yeah purification great uses for the summertime um as well as odor control. Mm -hmm. In the user, get rid of so that smell. If you're looking to get started today, like we're saying, cook fish for dinner and then diffuse purification, and you'll see. Yeah, <laughs> and it's also, I mean, it's a blend of a lot of great oils, which are also uh, beneficial for uh, respiratory support. So when you're diffusing it, you're also benefiting. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, your lungs Yourself. and sinuses. And, so all yeah. around great oils. Speaking of all yeah. around oh, great oils. One more one tiny more thing. thing about purification that has myrtle in it. Um, look on your essential oil app, the benefits of myrtle. So when you're getting rid of those smells, when you're putting it into your laundry, you're getting, you're also benefiting your body, uh, your body from myrtle. So look up myrtle, amazing oil for the body, for the endocrine system. Um, so another great reason to use purification. Good way. Download oh, the app. <laughs> one more. It's also one put, more a, thing. put a drop in your. Uh, in, if you're a flower lover like me, putting a drop into um, your vase of water instead of using that mm. chemical life extender. Um, flowers love purification. Amazing. Another use. Okay. And coming back to oils and all <laughs> great oils, this is the next oil we'll, we'll briefly mention on is thieves, which is like. See, I'm losing the words because it's just so a, such an amazing oil for so many things. Yeah. So, uh, Thieves is actually in Canada considered a natural health product now. Mm. So it is now recognized as a beneficial oil to use for cough and colds. Um, so great to diffuse. Um, I like to add lemon to it because lemon, as we mentioned, is good for cough and colds. It's also very uh, brightening, so a great one to do during the day. Um, smell make it'll make your home smell like fresh baking. It smells amazing. Mm. Um, Thieves has uh, a lot of different uses for purifying the air, uh, for you know immune support. Absolutely, my favorite yeah. thing to do was actually all winter uh, we would go to bed and before we fall asleep we put thieves on our feet mm. and yes. all night get those benefits and boost that immune system. And in our household there was no no colds all winter, which is amazing. Um, and I'm just going to say it was thieves. <laughs> oh, and we wanted to mention um, cinnamon is part of thieves, and cinnamon is considered a hot oil or a spicy oil. So if you apply thieves directly to the skin, it's going to heat up really yes. quickly. So you, if you want to put it, other than the feet, because the feet, the skin is thicker, so you're not going to feel that, that spicy or heat sensation. Mm. I think we have a guest, so I think we're up to Kingsley's, Kingsley's favorite oil, which is RC. So wait, really quickly about thieves, just make sure you dilute it, because it is, it is awesome. Like if you have swollen glands or, you know, a sore throat or something like that, putting thieves on your neck is great, but you want to dilute it, otherwise your skin's going to turn red. Okay, this is Kingsley. <laughs> and okay, do you like essential oils? Do you love essential oils? What's your favorite thing to do with essential oils? Put it on my neck and feet. Yeah, we generally, for Kingsley, he's forehead. seven. He's seven, so um, he's getting growing pains. So we love Panaway on his legs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what does Panaway do? Make pain go away. Make pain go away. Um, and then his favorite oil, what's your favorite oil, King? RC. RC, so RC is a blend of a lot of different oils. Mm -hmm. um, and how does it make you feel? Calm. Nice and calm. Do you like to put it in the diffuser? Do you like to rub it on your chest when you have a cough and cold? Mm -hmm. So RC, like Thieves, is uh, recognized in Canada as a natural health product for cough and cold. So an amazing oil overall. And I King love it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I like putting it on my forehead, feet, and chest. Well, let's neck see. And, neck. and neck. Yeah, it helps you breathe really well. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Next mm -hmm. up, we have Copa Eva, quickly. 
Um, just touching on that oil, I, for me personally, I'm still finding out a whole bunch of things. That was the last oil I opened up from my kit. I just didn't know why, but that was it. And now it's one of my favorites. So I, again, mm -hmm. I like to put it in my like, skin cream and it, I feel like Copa Eba is one of those oils that enhances the quality of the oil you put it with. Yeah. Like Petya, it actually sat in my box unopened for about a close to a month um, and now it's one of my favorite oils uh, it is a tree oil so as most tree oils it's very grounding uh, very calming um, also very good for the respiratory system um, and half of the constituents in copaiba um, are made up of one specific constituent that is incredible for the body um, due to compliance reasons I actually can't say what that is but I encourage you to google it yeah find <laughs> um, out I love it on my skin as well. It's really good for calming down uh, any irritation. And yeah, it's not overpowering in smell, so you can pretty much add it to any of the oil, as Petty said, to enhance. Which is wonderful. Yeah. And we already touched on tan away, so many good things. Any joints, muscle pains, just go ahead and try it out. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Digestive, stomach. All of Cramping, it. Stomach. Yeah, so this was this has been intent this the intention for this was to just get you started, but this is just the beginning. So please go ahead and, and try it out. Find some oils, use them. And oh there's one more oil in there that is wonderful. And that is the Northern Lights Box Boost. <laughs> Alright, Kinky wants to pop into frame again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, Northern Lights Black Spruce is, uh, comes from a farm in the northern BC, so this is our Canadian oil, something we'll be very proud of. It's grown under uh, the Northern Lights, and it's been tested to actually have the highest frequency of any oil in the Young Living line, mm -hmm. which means it really helps your body um, heal better, Absolutely. like be better, feel better. Um, to me, I always joke when I smell it, it reminds me of a man who could build you a lot of <laughs> Same. <laughs> like, you know, maybe partly due to the fact that my dad is a, a carpenter. It just, it has that really nice, like, woodsy smell. It's a gorgeous smell. Yeah. Very grounding. Great for the bottom of the feet. Great for the diffuser. Great for lungs. It's amazing to meditation. diffuse after yeah. you've cleaned your house and then you smell like a brand new spanking house. Yeah. Too, so yeah, it's, it's a beautiful lovely oil. for that. Should we, um, let's, let's mention a bit about the diffuser and, yeah. um, and keep the going. assembling for it. So three parts, three parts, unos, one, dos, dos, yes. Perfect. <laughs> this is the base and this is where the water goes. There is a little red dot that tells you not to go above that and placing water there, dropping three to four oils, you can combine them, you know, one or two and two, uh, depending on what you would like to start with. But as you just first get started, I'd say stick to one at a time, maybe two, until you get comfortable with the scents and the combination of them and find what you like. So if you're looking for something <laughs> immediately, go ahead and put some lavender in this diffuser. Lavender and lemon, or just lavender. And uh, Kinky was going off frame for now. You can you can tell that he's having a, a sick day. I think <laughs> the oils may have had something to do with how well you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Diffuser. Yes. Diffuser. So, a couple of recipes that are coming to you with your kit. Go ahead and try them out. Stay single oils more than combining all of them. Start with something simple that you like. Again, lavender is a good start, and um, yeah, give it a try. Um, in terms, of, the one thing that I really like about uh, the dewdrop specifically is it does create a very strong stream, so it won't take long for your room to smell amazing. Absolutely. Um, to clean it, it's very easy as well because as Petra showed, like the components come apart simple, um, and then you can just use a little bit of water and vinegar, um, a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol to rub the uh, vibrational plate mm -hmm. on the bottom. Um, so we recommend rinsing out definitely between each use and um, ideally to keep it clean and from any uh, buildup of oils, especially citrus oils tend to leave a little bit of a residue. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll want to give it a little clean at least, I'd say once every couple weeks. 
Yeah, yeah. That's, a good, that's a good way to start. Yeah, and if you have the Thieves Cleaner from the line, that works use amazing. Use that. Yeah, use Absolutely. that. It works amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, all right, so the next thing we wanted to touch on briefly was just the product guide um, that comes in your kit. And this is what that is. Yeah, so it is a product guide, but it's also a great um, information tool. Absolutely, reference. Yeah, so um, if you flip through it, you'll notice that it talks a little bit about, a little bit more about the Ningxia Red, um, also about the face and skincare line, the Thieves um, cleaning line. So if you're really wanting to take that step to replace some of the toxic cleaners in your home or the products um, that you would use for hair, skin, body, uh, Young Living products are incredible. They're infused with essential Absolutely. oils. They smell great and they're gonna benefit your body. Um, and the other great thing I find that I really like in this catalog is that it talks about the natural health products. Um, so there are over 60 oils that Young Living has in Canada that are considered natural health products. That's so if you're, yeah, if you're wanting to find oils specifically for um, stress and tension, feeling kind of uptight, looking to relax, they've got a list of oils for that, for um, arthritis, arthritis, strains, pain. sprains, pain, respiratory, digestive, yeah, yeah skin, acne, um, lots of great suggestions. Yeah. So definitely worth looking through. Um, it also talks about how to make your own lotion bars. Um, there's a recipe in here, um, I, th I think for, oh my gosh, what was it? Maybe, I'd have to look through it, but there's a few recipes in here that Absolutely. are Absolutely. So the idea here is for you not to discard this because there's a lot of useful information in this um, little guide. You can definitely flip through and come back to it any time. So don't throw away right away. It's actually quite beneficial and helpful. And um, if you have any more questions and things that you want to um, personally focus on, go ahead and explore with some of these um, oils right away and then you'll have some questions. So that's, we're here for you for that. And um, yeah, we can't wait to hear your experience with these oils because obviously we can talk for hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, we have to pare this down. We can talk, talk, talk. Absolutely. Um, actually, with saying that, if there's something that you want to know about, let us know. We'll do a little video on it. So Absolutely. whether that's more information on the diffuser, more information on the oils that we talk about today, more information on like certain wellness yeah. You know how bubbles. to use them, yeah. um, oils outside the box, Absolutely. maybe if you're looking for hormone support or just stress digest. and emotion, um, yeah. balancing, um, any of those areas that are important in your life, oils can help. Um, they are a wellness tool. They mm -hmm. are something to reach for when you have anything going on really. And it's just about educating yourself and finding out what works for you and finding out what you need and what mm -hmm. your body needs. And it's all very individual. So it's we're excited. Good. Yay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And hopefully you enjoy this kit and enjoy everything else that comes with that right, and your life. You can say bye-bye. <laughs>